So with the international break already here, I want to ask all the Newcastle fans, has the international break come at the right time, yes or no? Now let's speak to the fans. guys thank you sharky for having me on uh international break uh not a massive fan of it don't think anyone really is other than when there's a tournament on has it come at a good time for newcastle united if we'd beaten manchester united i would have said no had an amazing 70 minutes um and then all went downhill from there unfortunately um is it a good time for us I don't know, because if we'd built on what we did do in the first 70 minutes against Man U, we could have used that this weekend. Um, but as for maybe a little extra time over tactics, training before the next match, know exactly what we need to do to repeat what we did in the first half against Man U, then maybe it is at a good time. I'm not sure. Um, we're going to have to hope it is because it's international break whether we we'll like it or not. Hopefully Rafa can use that time to work out exactly what we did right in the first 70 minutes so we can repeat it against Brighton. But if we just got those three points, it would have been good to have a game this weekend. But like I said, two weeks time, hopefully we'll get a win. No, it hasn't because Newcastle need a win. And they need a win quickly. Uh, no, it never... The international break never comes at a good time when you're stuck in the bottom three. Mike, he's not spending any money. He generally can't come quick enough. Where is the money gone? Where is it gone? Bonjour, everyone. Matt here from the Magpie Channel. Yes, the international break has came at a good time for Newcastle United after the players all fell to the knees at the full time with Little Old Trafford. If we had have got something out of that game, especially the win, I would have said obviously no, absolutely not. We want to carry on that run of form and keep the momentum going and keep the uh, you know the players will all be up and on, on a buzz after that win. If only the game ended at half time. But after that, after the run we've been on, I think it's a good time for the players to have a couple of days off and then with two weeks to go into the Brighton game, get back into it, get back in that training pitch, get fully prepped for it, an all out attack Brighton and get the three points in what is a must win game. So the international break comes at a good time, gives the time for players to Rest, rejuvenate, and really, really plan, and ensure we get the all the three points against Brighton Lake because it's a it's a massive game now. Hello, Sharky, how are you doing? You all right? Uh, has the international break come at the right time? In some aspects, yes. Some aspects, no. Because you know, against Man United, we were there, and it was a great performance going forward. In particular, very surprising. And some parts of me says, "How oh, I need a game quickly because I want to see if Rafa's going to play that way." But obviously, we've got to wait a while almost a week and a half now left to Brighton. But then again, Rafa can work with, you know, the likes of Yoshino Yamutu. I know he's got a little bit of a knock, but if he can work with him a little bit harder, a little bit longer, you know, work on he's going to be easy. So basically the team need to play around him. If he's going to be our main guy, and I think he should be, he should be playing up top. So we're playing to a system that suits him, you know, getting him on the ball, getting him through in the channels. I think that's what's key for me this next 10 days, because we all know that Rafa Benitez works his socks off with the defence. We know that. But you need to work on the aspect of going forward. So, yeah, it's, it's hit and miss that the international break. Yeah, nobody likes it, let's be honest with it. Yeah, I'm going to say this has come at the right time for Newcastle. So, because hopefully this will give us the opportunity to have the likes of Rondon, Dummett and Key, if he has took an injury, uh, back fit in the squad. Um, and um, we have been known to win. Uh, our first game of the season for the past two times after, if we haven't won a game till in October so I would say yes this has come at the right time for us So a massive thank you to everyone who took part Newcastle Fans TV, Magpie Channel, Rubenstein, Paley Paradox Thank you so much for taking time out to uh, film your opinions on the international break As you can see in the video there was a lot of mixed opinions in terms of the international break I think, in my opinion, it's come at the right time. I think with the points that we've picked up, the fixtures that we've had, it's been a really tough start. It's not going to be an easy season by any stretch of the imagination. We really have to strengthen in the January. You know, it was encouraging that we took the lead against Manchester United, but we've got to be able to see out a game. Even if we can't win it, don't lose it like we did against uh, Man United. It's disappointing. Brighton up next. It's in James's Park. 
Chris Hutton will be coming up, ex Newcastle manager. He'll be doing with no favours, but hopefully we'll get three points. It's a must win game now. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the bell. Hit the like button. How are the lads? Yeah. Yeah.